three album deal in G major. And you had them? <sighs> Plus media appearances, touring, but only for the instant star winner. I want to sign, pass it to the front desk. Um, to start off with, tell me a bit about your character. Uh, well, my character's name is Milo, and he's a 19-year-old kind of singer-songwriter guy who enters the instant star competition. And he's doing very well in it, and he's just, you know, kind of becoming a new character and playing a lot and meeting new people and becoming part of the instant star world. So tell me about the scene you're shooting today. Uh, well, today we're shooting a, a bunch of different scenes. One scene is with uh, myself and Jude, the main character in the show, in the studio. We're uh, part of the, the storyline right now is that the old Instant Star members are being paired with the new and they're writing songs together and working together on a new project. And so I was paired with Jude and her and I are in the studio kind of working on something and, and she's busy with her album and there's a lot of conflict going on there. Um, how did this guest starring spot all come about? You know, I'm not entirely sure. It was one of those weird things that just kind of came about. But I, I, uh, my manager and I had decided at one point, because I'm a musician primarily, that to, do, to start doing some acting. I've always loved it. And uh, this kind of came up. We, we knew some of the people involved in the show, and we just went for it. And I came to the, the audition and came to a callback, and then I'm here now. Yeah. So how much of yourself do you see in your character? Because I was reading a bit of a bio, and I was talking, yeah. like, amazing guitar skills. Yeah. Like Eric Clapton singing, and I'm like, oh, that kind of. And then I flipped on your bio on your yeah. website, and I'm reading Same through it, and I'm like, what's it kind of? Yes, yeah, definitely typecast in that way, yeah. yeah but, but the, uh, I mean, the, I guess the only difference is that he's in this instant star competition thing, which is really not like my life. My life was, you know, I started out playing as a 10 year old in CD blues bars, touring around for, you know, years and years. So it's, it's different that way. <clears throat> but um, as far as what he does and his age and kind of, his personality is pretty similar to myself. So you're saying, um, as you're this character is in the competition and whatnot, does it sort of give you an insight into what, say, the Canadian Idol competitors are going through? I guess it does, yeah. I guess it's, this show is really all about that. What does it feel like to not only have fame, but to have instant fame, to have something piled on you, you know, right off the bat, all of these things that really should take years and years to, to learn. You're all, all of a sudden, you know, it's all on you. So I think, yeah, it, it is giving us some insight that way. Let's get back into it. This is sort sure. of your first big yeah. acting thing. Um, are you nervous at all? Not really. I was kind of a little, yesterday when I got here for the first day, I, I got on set and went, okay, what am I doing here? Like, I was kind of like, oh my God, I don't really belong. But after a while, you just, it, it feels very normal. I was talking with someone today about how the music world and the film world are really cool parallel lives like they don't really match up that often but it makes sense to do them both these days like they really have a lot in common but it's also very different it's 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 been fun so the biggest difference you see from your world stepping into this one is that you get all the free food you could possibly ask for and no one seems surprised by it so i'm always huddled over the food eating isn't this amazing it was just a regular day yeah. well, can i have some bring it with me yeah so i use those styrofoam things that way uh, were you a big fan of the show before? I'd seen it, yeah. I'd seen it a few episodes and enjoyed it. And what I really enjoy about it as a musician is that it involves the community in, in Toronto, or Canada, I guess I should say. And, and I know a lot of people who, song, who songwrite for the show and write for the show and all of that. And one of the greatest parts for me being involved in this is that I'm also doing some songwriting for future episodes during this week at the songwriters camp. So it's, it's fun to be involved on both sides of the spectrum. Um. Do you see yourself stepping more in front of the camera to, say, do more of this in the future? I'd love to, yeah. I definitely do. It's, it, and even just the last couple of days have, been, have kind of solidified that for me. I, it's, it's very fun. Very, very fun. Nice. So would you put your music on hold for a moment and try to pursue it more? Or would I don't you... think so. I mean, I, th I think you can do them both at once. I truly do. I mean, there's a lot of downtime when you're doing this kind of work, as there is as a musician. And I think um, you, have, you really have to hold off time for touring as a musician. Like, that's kind of... And for me, that's been my life for the last three years we've been doing you know, like 200 shows a year, and you can't do that and film at the same time. But I think you can make records and songwrite and do that, so I would always do both at, at once, I think. And um, so have you picked up any tips yet, or has anyone been giving you advice on? Uh, I'm just trying to think. I mean, it's just, the tip that I learned is that when I walked in and to, to my dressing room, I saw a bed there, and I went, well, why would I possibly need a bed? Now I know. You sleep as many, have naps as many times as you possibly can during the day. It's, it, it is tiring. It's, it's surprisingly tiring. Um, I, I didn't suspect that.